Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, we're going to do some more work on the Land Rover. So this afternoon, um, I was going to spend a bit more time on it, but we've had to uh, help build a shed. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to start going through some of the things that uh, are wrong with the Land Rover. Um, starting with, uh, we're going to check out the brakes. So the brakes kind of work, they're not as good as they should be. Uh, I had some uh, really great uh, hints and helpful feedback from a number of the, the viewers, so thank you very much for that. Uh, we'll talk through some of those things as we go and um, see, let's see what we can find. So hopefully we'll go through a process of adjusting. Um, having a, we'll have a look and see what's, um, how things have fared since we last looked at them. Um, see if there's some adjustments we can make. Uh, and then we'll go through a process of, um, we won't test them again just yet because there's a few other issues that need to be resolved. Let's get in, let's have a look at those brakes, yeah? Right, before we take it off completely, first thing, we just check. So this seems to have no problem moving. It's quite uh, freewheeling, which is good. So there's no, should be no binding issues with the brakes. That's so they're pretty firm, really. They're pretty close up. Right, let's have a look at the wear. Let's have a closer look here. So I think as we can see, uh, hopefully it's not too dark in there, the wear pattern is just here. So I think this is why we've got soft brakes. We're, um looks fairly even to me from this angle anyway, but it's only the top. Uh, let's have a look at the other side. Uh, pretty much the same thing. There's not really much happening down there. And there's a very small amount hitting the top there. So it's definitely not weary. Let's think about this. It's pushing out, hitting the top. Um, so I'm just wondering if that's too high, too low. So let's think. There's a couple of things that I've, uh, has been, have been mentioned to me. Um, one is this red spring. Um, is that it's supposed to be hooked around the little um, post here instead of through that hole. So we'll have a look and see uh, if there's something on that post that we can connect it to. Uh, the other thing is to loosen off this big bolt underneath the back here that holds this pin in place. And then um, I think the idea is when it's slightly loose, put the drum back on, just hit the brakes um, a couple of times and to help move, help let it um, sort of move around a little bit in the inside the cylinder and, and snuggle up a little bit better um, and that that could be um, a good idea but we'll see I don't even know if that thing came undone I can't remember undoing it um, when these back plates were were refurbished right so I've had a, a good look around um, and this suggestion about the this red spring so looking at it now it's very much on an angle um, because you can see it in there and it's quite a long way in behind and of course it's actually coming across diagonally towards this um, shoe. Uh, I've had a look behind and this post, um, let me have a look better way, so this post that's here that sits on the snail has got like a little um, insert cut into it on the outside of it which looks like it'd be a good place for that spring to go. So. Hey, thank you very much for that suggestion. We're going to, that's the first thing we're going to try and do, is um, try and get that red um, spring off and move it around the back, back post, which I have to admit from here, doesn't actually look that easy, but uh, we'll give it a try.
Okay, success. <coughs> Let's see what that looks like. <coughs> As we can see now, that's in behind the snail and that's dead straight. So hopefully that will certainly help with um, pulling it back so it's not going to get any binding. Um, I don't think, I thought before we might have to adjust those posts but um, it does still look like it's slightly on the inside there um, which means to me that this is it's pointing um, well it's either the surface is uneven or uh, it's not too bad I think it's probably actually I'm not gonna get too concerned it's probably just that this is not touching okay um, next bit to think about um, is how do we get all of this surface now there's some touching actually there I didn't see that before there's a patch there and there's a couple of patches here is that just so if this is touching more then this means to me that this is being pushed out that way so it's uneven so it probably needs to go back a little bit to get a bit more wear on it but Anyway, let's see. Before we go adjusting that, thinking about this again and where this red spring is. Um, even having the red spring here now certainly could help with the uh, evenness of that. So I'm not going to play around with that adjustment yet. Um, we'll have a look at that. What we need to think about now is if this can sit slightly lower so we're going to have a look at this fitting under here and see if there's something we can do um, under there. Here with me. We're going to go jump on the brake a little bit. You stay down there and let me know if anything happens, yeah? See anything? Anything move? Okay. Let's see. I'm just wondering if I tighten it at the same time. Let's just see if we can. Uh... So um, I don't think, so I'm just trying to think, I'm not probably going to do anything else, so what I may do at the moment is put this back in um, and then tighten everything back up with that as we jumped on it and then uh, we'll see what happens from there. Uh, like I said, unfortunately we can't do much testing of this, it fits on nice and easy doesn't it? Um, we can't do much testing at the moment because of the other issues with the car so um, there's definitely some weird noises that we need to investigate uh, apart from the fact there's a whole bunch of oil falling out of the uh, transfer box um, in fact I'll be impressed if there's anything left um, okay so we're gonna do up do this up I'm gonna jump, jump sorry I'm gonna put the um, uh, the drum holding screws back in uh, and I'm going to jump on the brakes again then we'll tighten this back up in the back um, and then we'll go and check another one now one of the things 
but I did check a little while back as well just for those who are watching um, I did an exercise <coughs> with my friend Darren so what we did is we um, on the backs we took these cylinders off turn them around put them back on again and then <coughs> using his um, fine measuring tool the little gauge <coughs> ran it on the inside edge here um, and then just spun it round, 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 just to see if there was any major variations and very, very minimal, if you know, hardly readable, um, is what we found. So, because that was the other concern, is you know, should I just go and buy new um, drums? But um, we'll see. We'll keep persevering with this for just a little bit. Um, worst case, that'll be what'll happen. We'll have to go. We we'll, might get some new drums, but. Right, that's tightened up. I'm going to go and quickly jump on the brakes again. Then we're going to tighten that up. Um, it will most be good to have someone jump on the brake while I tighten it. But um, unless you're able to come and help me, uh, that's not going to happen, is it? No. All right. Okay. Fair enough. I see how it is. Okay, All right, that's one investigation, let's go to the back. Uh, you can either stay and watch while I put the wheel on, or you can go to make a cup of tea.
Hey okay guys, um, a really quick one around the Land Rover. Uh, we're checking all the brakes that um, I have to look up and see who told me. I think it was on Facebook. Someone told me about those red springs. Definitely in the back, I think that's made a huge difference. Um, in the fronts, maybe not so much, but definitely in the rear. And uh, that'll help a lot because I think I backed off the backs because of the um, continual issue with uh, when I was locking up in reverse, which I think had everything to do with that. So. That's a good start. I now need to go around and do another check. Um, uh, I need to, you know, just do a, I think probably just check the brakes again, but uh, we've hopefully set that all up nicely. Now, uh, the next thing is, uh, unfortunately it's not gonna be today. We've run out of time today and this weekend. So uh, the next thing will be underneath and let's have a look at the uh, oil leak that we seem to have uh, had there. Uh, you will also notice at the last minute there, I was checking the oil inside this hub it was a little bit down, not a lot, but I need to work out um, if there's oil getting to the bearings because uh, I've got the sneaky suspicion there's something wrong there. Um, I'm hoping not, but, uh, and the worst thing is the only way to find out is to sort of take stuff apart and have oil leak out or not, but uh, it's going to have to be done because uh, there's definitely a problem going on there somewhere. Anyway, cheers for now and we'll see you in the next one. Remember, like and subscribe, yeah? Take care.